What's up, everybody? Hopefully your November is going great. Mine could be going better. I'll explain that later. Anyways, where I left off last, I was about to take out my niece for the youth gun deer season here in Minnesota. Long story short, we didn't have a whole lot of deer movement, but we did hear some coyotes off in the distance going crazy. I'll play that for you, and then after that, I'll play you some of my hunts. Before I play this next clip, I want to give a brief explanation of what happened prior to this deer showing up. Off in the cattails, I heard it sounded like a buck chasing a doe running through the frozen cattails. And I could hear some grunts off in the distance. And I could never see anything because it's way too thick before the cattails. And I just hear chasing and grunting. Couldn't tell how big the buck was, but I could hear grunting. But I thought I should throw out a couple grunts to see if I can pull him over to me. And they sound at least 100, 150 yards away. But I threw out some grunts, threw out some grunts. And all of a sudden I see the doe come flying out of the cattails with no buck behind her. So I just kept throwing out a couple more grunts every once in a while. And then he's just grunting like crazy. And then all of a sudden I see this big rack coming right to me, right on the string. And I'll play the clip.
So what happened was this buck was coming and there's two trails. There's one that goes right to the base of my tree and there's the one that he actually took. And I also hunt out of a tree saddle. So and he was coming from my downwind and that is also the weak side I have set up for this tree. So I didn't know how to position myself to take the shot. So what I was doing is I'm trying to slowly turn around in my tree and loosen my tether to be able to get the shot. And in the process of doing that, he got directly downwind and he happened to see just a little bit of movement and he just had me pinned. And then as you saw, we had that stare off for a while at one of the times he looked back to find that doe or the other buck because I was grunting I drew back because I knew I was busted and I, he let me draw back on him but I was also holding my bow for the last five ish minutes so my left arm was already dog tired and I was able to get to full draw but I was so shaky and once he saw me get real shaky that's when he took off I know in the video angle it does not look like I have a shot at all because it's so thick with that brushy stuff there but from my angle I did have about the size of a softball to sneak an arrow in right at his heart so where do I hunt this is an absolute monster buck and a for sure shooter in my mind but I am not the greatest judge of scoring or aging deer but he looked very comparable to one of my past bucks I have shot in Wisconsin and I'll show you him real quick. I was sad to see him run away. My heart did sink. Hopefully he survived the gun season here in Minnesota and I get another crack at him here in the later half of November. I will be back out there maybe this weekend and then hopefully next week to get a shot at him. But stay locked in, see if I get him. And to the rest of you, good luck. Hopefully you got your deer and maybe you had a great successful hunt this, this rut. And if you did, awesome. Hit me in the comments, let me know what you got. But anyways, I'll see you next time.